Welcome back to the Lego Club Show. Last fall, we set out for Northwest BrickCon, a fan fest in Seattle, where we met the builders of BattleBugs, a whole collection of creepy, crawly creations ready for combat. Lego building isn't just for kids, not by a long shot. All over the world, grown-up builders are creating amazing models, sculptures, and even art with bricks from their own Lego collection. And just like we have the Lego Club, lots of them have created their own special fan groups to show off their latest creations and building tips. And when those fans get together, you've got a convention. Welcome to Northwest BrickCon, an annual Lego fan convention held every October in Seattle, Washington. Here at the Seattle Center, builders from all over the world are busy setting up model displays and getting ready for building competitions, presentations, discussions, and lots of other fun fan activities. Just about anything from your imagination can be built with LEGO, and Northwest BrickCon has it all, from the knights and dragons in the castle world to some of the biggest ships flying in space. They have Bionicle like you've never seen before and even cities built in both minifig scale and micro scale. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. From a distance, these may look like ordinary insects, but let's take a closer look. These bugs were built for battle. Battle Bugs is a new fan-created building theme for the 2009 BrickCon. Founded by LEGO builders Mark Newman, Jason Ruff, and Lino Martins, it combines a love for the real insect world with high-tech mech building to create a legion of mechanical bugs all set to do battle. Now let's talk with one of the amazing builders behind Battle Bugs and find out how this awesome new building theme came to be. We're here with Jason Ruff, one of the creators behind Battle Bugs. Jason, how did this whole idea come about? Uh, I built a big spider. Uh, it was my second convention. I went to breakfast. And Mark Newman brought this awesome big blue insect, and we saw each other's creations. We built them on opposite ends of the table and just went, oh, they got to fight. By the end of the convention, we convinced ourselves we're going to start a Flickr group. We're going to tell everybody it's Battle Bugs. Build a bug, it's coming to BrickCon, and that was it. Well, the display is massive. How many people contributed to this? Close to 30, easily. Um, I have so many favorites here. One of the big contributors, Lino, who got us on Flickr, knows the people in the community, is one of the coordinators, made this amazing dung beetle, which is a brilliant concept. And the stag beetle, the drop ship with it, the rhinoceros beetle. And then you get people like uh, Jordan here, who made this amazing stick bug. It's small, delicate, incredible detail. And the styles just go on. One of the most impressive creations here is your mantis that you built. Where did the inspiration come from? It started with thinking about Mars mission would be the perfect color and that pointy windscreen that are on so many of the sets would be the best eyes. I could put the pilots behind them and just get the shape. And are you happy with how it came out? I'm thrilled. The best thing about coming to these cons is when a group of kids all at once goes, whoa, that just makes my day. And one of the most unique bugs that made it to BrickCon was built by Jordan Schwartz. Jordan, where are you from? <laughs> Rhode Island. Wow, so you came all the way out to Seattle just to show off some of your models? Definitely, I love Lego. All right, me too. Well, you've got you know a really unique style. You uh, you know you've got a lot of buzz about this stick bug that you made. You know, and it's kind of almost like you're building outside the box. You look at pieces differently. Where do you get your ideas from? Well, I'm as much a parts collector as I am a builder, so I always have a lot of really interesting and different parts that not a lot of people use lying around. So I always try to look at those and see what can I do with that. That kind of looks like this, or that kind of looks like that, and I put it to use. You know, these models that you brought are awesome. Can you tell us about some of the techniques you used in these models? Sure. For the stick bug, I used Technic connectors, half pins, and lever bases, and those are strung up with fiber optic cables, which is very delicate, but it creates a really organic look. Also, for the legs, I use hoses, and at the end of the hoses, minifigure hands are attached, uh, and the other sections of the legs are attached to the minifigure hands. So it's a very delicate look, but it looks organic and it looks real. Yeah, well, your stuff's awesome. So thanks for stopping by, and thanks for talking with us. We hope to see you again next year. You've heard of Lego City, and now here's Micro City. Every block of this city is made up of four separate modules, each one built by a different Lego builder. 
When you put them all together, you've got one gigantic pint-sized metropolis. But no matter what size your city is, you still need to get around. And the car display at Northwest BrickCon had no shortage of transportation options. No matter what your taste in cars, these guys could build it. And one of the main contributing builders behind the cars display was Lino Martins. Now, Lino, you build a lot of vehicles. Can you tell us a little bit about your favorites? Uh, sure. Uh, let's see. I've got that odd Pinto there that has the reverse flame job. I like my uh, kind of evil clown ice cream truck. And uh, the 66 Batmobile, an old classic, of course. Now, you also won an award for your model Hidden Treasure. Why don't you tell us about that one? Sure. This is Hidden Treasure. It's a 49 Buick Fastback. And the idea was that um, I can produce a stunning work of art, and it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be you know, classically beautiful. It doesn't have, a, have to have a great paint job, flames, anything like that. I can make it modeled. I can make it forested with a tree growing out of it and, you know, still have it be a, 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 a viable piece of art. And what are some of the details that you put into that model to kind of make it stand out from the rest? Well, it has kind of a, a rusted out seat that's just uh, infested with rats and spiders. It has, you know, the, the tree growing out the hood. A lot of people are pretty thrilled about the droid arms as the grill. Um, and there's uh, three or four frogs around it that are just kind of guarding it. Well, we absolutely love it, and we can't wait to see what you bring next year. Thanks, Lino. Stay tuned to legoclub.com for more from this super awesome episode of the Lego Club Show.